Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. We move on the example 1 of bending stress in straight beams. In this example, I just pick one question regarding on the concentrated load beam only. This is the question. For the timber beam and loading shown in the figure, determine the reaction forces at supports B and D. Identify the maximum shear force and bend the moment in the beam and determine the maximum normal and shear stresses due to bending. This beam has two concentrated loads at A and C and has a rectangular cross-sectional area. To solve this problem, first we have to draw a free body diagram of the whole beam. We remove the supports at B and D and replace with the reaction forces. So we have the applied forces at A with 20 kN and at C with 40 kN and the unknown forces at B and D. Then we apply static equilibrium equations, summation of moment at B equal to 0 and we get dy equals to 14 kN. Then summation of Fy equals to 0 and we get By equals to 46 kN. Then we replace the unknown forces at B and D with 46 kN and 14 kN. Next, we have to cut the beam into sections. This is because we want to find the internal shear force and internal bending moment in each section. If the beam is subjected to concentrated load, then we cut the section in between the loads. First, we have section AB. Second is section BC and the last one is section CD. For section AB, there are a few steps to calculate the internal shear force and internal bending moment. First, we draw the free body diagram of section AB. Then we draw the positive internal shear force and bending moment at the cutting point, where the shear force is downward and the bending moment is counterclockwise. We mark this cutting point as point 1. So the internal shear force and internal bending moment at this point we noted as V1 and M1. Then we note the longest distance as X. This is because the length varies from 0 to 2.5 meters. Next, apply static equilibrium equations to find the internal shear force and internal bending moment. These values can be in constant value or in x variable, depend on the equation that we have. In this section, the internal bending moment is in x variable, which is negative 20x kN, and the internal shear force is in constant value, which is negative 20 kN. Then we repeat the same steps for section BC. We draw the free body diagram of section BC, and draw the positive internal shear force and bending moment at the cutting point. We mark this cutting point as point 2. So the internal shear force becomes V2 downward and the internal bending moment becomes M2 counterclockwise. We note the longer distance as X. X for section BC varies from 2.5 to 5.5 meters. Then we use the longest distance as a reference to find the other distance. For example, the distance from B to the cutting point is x minus 2.5 meters. Next, we apply static equilibrium equations to find the M2 and V2. We get M2 equals to 26x minus 115 kN meters and V2 equals to 26 kN. Then for section CD, we draw the free body diagram and draw the positive internal shear force and bending moment at the cutting point. We mark this cutting point as point 3, so V3 is acting downward and M3 is acting counterclockwise. We note the longer distance as X. X for section CD varies from 5.5 to 7.5 meters. Then we use the longest distance as a reference to find the other distance. In this section, we have the distance from B 
to the cutting point is x minus 2.5 meters and the distance from C to the cutting point is x minus 5.5 meters. Next, we apply static equilibrium equations to find the value of M3 and V3. We get M3 equals to negative 14x plus 105 kilonewton meters and V3 equals to negative 14 kilonewtons. Then we substitute all the values into the table. Since the value of V1, V2 and V3 are constants, then we just rewrite them back in the right column. But for bending moment, we substitute the value of x into the moment equation to get the constant value. Next, we plot the shear force diagram by using the value of v versus x. After that, we can determine the maximum shear force value, which is 26 kN. Then for bending moment diagram, the value of moment versus x is taken out from the table to plot the bending moment diagram and we can determine the maximum bending moment value which is 50 kilonewton meters. To answer the third question just now, which is the maximum normal and shear stresses due to bending, we have to calculate the moment of inertia of the beam. Since the beam is a rectangular cross section, then I will be equal to bh cube over 12, where b is the width and h is the height of the beam. After that, we calculate the maximum normal stress due to bending. Sigma max equals to mc over i. You may refer to this figure to get the value of c. Then the value of maximum normal stress due to bending is 60 megapascal. And the last one is to calculate the value of maximum shear stress. Tau max equals to VQ over IT. I already show the location and dimension of A prime and Y bar in the figure. After substitute all the values, then we get tau max is 1.95 megapascal. So we already answered all the question of example 1. I hope you guys understand the concept and try to solve the other problems. Thank you.